Bushfires and grass fires account for a large number of emergencies that impact the Victorian community each year. Both move fast and can threaten homes and lives within minutes. Emergency services send three levels of warnings to help you make decisions about your own and your family's safety. They are advice, watch and act, and emergency warnings. Let's look at these warning levels in relation to bushfires and grass fires. The first level, advice, means that there is a fire in your local area. Stay informed and monitor conditions. Review your bushfire survival plan if you have one, or decide what action you'll take if the situation changes. The second level, watch and act, means that a fire is heading towards you and conditions are changing. You need to take action now. Emergency services may not be able to help you if you stay. The third level, emergency warning, means that you are now in imminent danger. You need to take immediate action and follow instructions in the warning. Remember, if you stay, emergency services may not be able to help you. A recommendation to evacuate may be sent out if there is an imminent threat to you and it is safe to evacuate. So, what actually happens when a fire starts? Once emergency services are alerted, firefighters arrive and decide if a community warning is required. Depending on the seriousness of the fire, an appropriate warning is sent out to the community. Members of the community, like you, actively seek out information about the fire and take action when directed to. As the situation changes, follow-up messages are sent out. These messages provide updated information and will tell you if the situation has improved or worsened. Once the threat passes, an all-clear message is sent which means that you are no longer in danger. Ultimately, it's every community member's responsibility to seek information about emergencies. You can access real-time information by tuning in to your local ABC radio, commercial stations and some community stations, watching Sky News, calling the Victorian Bushfire Information Line, National Relay Service or the Translating and Interpreting Service, visiting the Vic Emergency website, downloading the Fire Ready app, following CFA on Twitter and Facebook. Also, stay alert for sirens and telephone alerts. And remember, don't rely on an official warning. Actively seek information from a number of sources. Don't rely on just one. Speak to other members of the community about your local conditions. Be aware of the risks in your area. And don't visit fire-prone areas on high-risk days. Your life is in your hands.